this is our recap of couples therapy and our attempt to get all the dogs to act like civilized canines and not freak out because there's a tiny new dog. Okay. Uh, couples therapy is the recap. I don't I don't know what I don't know what episode or what the title was. I forgot to look at it. So anyway, we cut right back in to Tretch and his dad, Kent. And his dad's kind of being a jerk and um Tretch leaves and I just I, I'm always struck by just how I feel like unprofessional Dr. Jen is because like she's like kneeling by his leg and she's like rubbing his hand and I'm just like that's just really weird to me. Like it doesn't seem very professional, right? Or appropriate. Yeah, it doesn't even really seem Certainly appropriate. Not professional. Like if if there was a woman who was not John's mother touching him that way, I'm pretty sure I would I would like mm mm no like that would not be a safe communicative environment for me. But anyway, um, as Kent is leaving, they um, they do a whole. Uh, um, you know, he starts talking and he's getting really upset about the mistakes he's made and he breaks down and they get, excuse me, oh god, oh, they get stretched to, <laughs> too, too much excitement, they get stretched to go back down and it's like a freaking Hallmark movie, like, you know, his dad's crying about how all the mistakes he made and Tretch grabs his arm, pulls him up into a hug and it's like, you know, I love you man, you know, we're gonna, we're going to stay in touch forever, and I really hope it works out for them, because I was kind of blown away. Just, you know, when he first came rolling into the house, I thought, oh, here's this guy who's all all act. He's not interested in any of this these feelings things. And he ended up being probably one of the most astute, astute people there in terms of kind of like understanding other people's motivations. And um, just him being willing to even talk to his dad uh, or being open to I was just kind of blown away. That's all I'm going to say about that. Did you want to say anything? No. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I don't know where that came from. So Dean and Chris, who we who, who barely have even been in the episode, they're sort of like background, like... Um, Cannon fodder. Uh, what do you... Yeah. What do you call those people? Extras? Like they just need another couple to show up? And they do a big fight about a massage. And I get what she's saying. Like the fight itself is not a big deal. But it's kind of those things like when you have this friction and you just don't let anything go. It's one of those fights. Anyway, um, they we do get to see a little bit of focus about how she's like, well, you need to figure out what you want to do in life. And, like, the guys are trying to help them because at least, um, you know, some of the guys, uh, what's his name? John, is Jenna's boyfriend, is not as big of a deal as Jenna is. I mean, I don't think she's that big of a deal, but, I mean... She's made a lot of money, but it's not like I'm like, oh, wow, I, I would just, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not explaining this well. Moving on. Anyway, uh, Chris is just really, he's just really angry. They're like, well, you need to figure out what it is you need to do, and you need to do that because you're going to find satisfaction and feel like a success in that, whatever it is that you want to do. And he's just really angry, and then kind of like when Juan Pablo and Evil Dick are like, well, what do you want to do? He's like, well, I don't know. It changes every day. They're like, well, what's what, some of the stuff? Well, I don't even know. Well, just name something. Name something that you've thought about doing. Oh, I don't want to talk. And it was really bizarre to me because it was like, I I'm in the same position where, like, I don't know, I still know what I want to be when I grow up, but I could live. She did. She <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. It's not. But the point is, like, if someone was like, well, just name something, I could, I could name off a whole bunch of things. Like, I don't know which that these are. That you're already doing. Kind of. Not succeeding at, though. Anyway, he just... Anyway, so I don't know what his deal is. I'm thinking maybe he just doesn't have a deal. Like, that's his whole thing. Like, he hasn't thought of anything. Doesn't make for good TV. No, does not. Anyway, we, we end up with Jenna and Dr. Jen pulling her in. And, of course, Dr. Jen wants to go with her. I don't know. I don't know. Of course. of course. I know. Like rubber thigh. Or, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, Je they found Jenna's mom's grave, which I'm kind of surprised Jenna didn't know about. I guess it's one of those things where, like, things that happen in your childhood, you stay in that same place. Because it's not that hard. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could kind of, like, if you, as long as you have someone's name and... I'm sure you could, there's like some national registry or something. Anyway, they found where her grave is and she's going to go visit. And I really do hope it brings her some peace because she has some pretty severe trauma in her past. So anyway, this is Cooper. He has a name. He is actually our in-law's dog, which is going to be kind of hard to tell by the way we're coddling him. 
and we are in the process of helping to train him before he goes to be with my in-laws. Okay, we'll see you guys later.